everyone, it's Dawn with Dawn's Purple Koala Paper Crafting. Today I want to show you how I made this card. It's a great graduation card, but it can also be given as a, a wedding card, or you can give it to someone that's retiring, or someone who has had an accomplishment that you'd like to recognize. It's very versatile. And with the basic colors of black, gray, and white, it can really be given to anyone. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we'll do is start with our base. And this is a full sheet of cardstock, which is 8.5 by 11. And I've just cut it in half at 5.5. So I'm just going to take that and fold it. And then use my bone folder and just fold that over. Give it a nice crease. And there's our card base. The next thing I did was took a piece of the basic gray cardstock, and this is cut five and a quarter by four. And what I did with this was I took the stars embossing folder and I just put this in here lined it up closed it sandwiched it between my plates and then I ran it through the big shot and this is what came out these are little stars are all embossed uh, these the side is all raised and these are indented so we're going to use the raised side for our front. I'm just going to add some adhesive. And put that on our card front. Just like that. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is take a piece of the Whisper White cardstock, and this is just cut four inches by two inches, and I'm going to put that in the tag topper punch. And the two inches wide fits perfectly in here. And the nice thing about this is you can make this, if you have a longer piece of paper, you can make your tag as long or short as you'd like. You're just going to push this all the way in until it stops and then just press it down and you have your tag top. So we'll get rid of that. And the next thing we'll do is take our stamp set. Today I'm using the Bravo stamp set from Stampin' Up! And I'm going to use this Way to Go. I'm also using You Did It and the congratulations. Uh, this is a great stamp set. It's All these phrases are wonderful. Um, the thing about this is it is retiring from stamping up at the end of May. So if you do want to purchase this stamp set, just contact me and I'll help you um, get that ordered. But it's some great, great phrases. So today I'm going to be using the Way to Go and we'll use the basic gray ink and the basic gray was perfectly with the basic gray paper another thing I love about Stampin' Up! everything coordinates so I'm just gonna get some ink on here and just put this on here and press it down And there's that. I'm also going to be using the smaller stamp, the You Did It. And I'll ink that up. I'm just going to position this right underneath it. And press that. Perfect. Okay. The next thing I'm doing is taking some of this ribbon, really pretty silver ribbon. I'm just going to take a little, cut a little length of it. I'm just going to fold this in half 
and then I'm going to take the loop part and just feed it through the punched hole and then just pull the ends through. And I'm just going to uh, position that. Just give it a gentle tug to make it tight. There. Now what I'll do is I'm going to put a little glue dot on the back of this just to make it a little more secure. And just get, put that right on the back like that. And then I'm also going to run some adhesive. And then we'll position this right on the front of the card. Just put it as a diagonal and press it down. I'm just going to take my scissors and just trim this. There. Now the inside, uh, since this is a dark cardstock, I'm going to, you can't really write in here unless you have a silver or white pen or marker. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some white cardstock and this is cut five and a quarter by four and I'm just going to put this in here. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to take the congratulations stamp and ink that up also with the basic gray. I'm just going to position that towards the top, but in the center. I'm just going to press that down. There. And put the ink away. I like stamping it towards the top because then it'll still give me room to write a personal message and sign it. You could put it in the center or wherever you prefer. I'm going to add some adhesive. And just put this inside the card. And just center it. And press it down. And there you have it. There is your pretty graduation or wedding, retirement, whatever you prefer. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave a message or contact me directly. If you would like to know the products I used or how to get them for yourself, they'll be in the credits. You can also see the details of the products I used and the sizes of everything on my website, which is www.dawnspurplekoala.com Thanks for stopping by.